Employers of today want the employees that they're hiring to come to them already equipped with the type of skills that allows them to go to work day one. We have an innovation center that allows for the exact space where students come in and develop both the mindset and the skills that the employers need so that when the students come to them, they're already ready to start adding value. We're able to provide students a university setting so they get to learn how to code and program, but they're also learning how to use the engineering design process to solve different problems, be exposed to professional grade technology that's used in the workforce. It allows us to go beyond some of the traditional science labs that you see in colleges. And now we have these students who have access to these MIT originated fab labs. The equipment we've brought here is on par or better than what many of these students would find either in a workplace or in a traditional university. We've brought them laser cutters, 3D printers, hand tools, electronic stations. The goal is for them to be able to build just about anything they can imagine. It just amazed me when product just being manufactured by clicking a button and boom, it's here. I'm able to start a project and instead of in class, you actually execute what you're doing and produce a tangible outcome. That's the future of making, to be able to conceive something in your mind and very quickly produce a tangible product that you can hold in your hand. It's where everything is going. And so you want students to have the tools of the future and not the tools of the past. It's critical to have these students exposed and proficient with this equipment so that they can arrive ready to compete. But what's also important, in addition to these technical skills, is knowing how to work in teams, knowing how to communicate, have interpersonal skills, because the problem is beyond the technology. You also have to be able to think critically with people. Everyone around me is really smart and very driven, which is great. I expected to learn a lot of new skills that I probably wouldn't have learned in my classroom which really reinvigorated my interest in my major. They understand technology, they use it every day. What they don't understand is what's behind the technology they use. I think we're opening that up for them so they understand it better, can understand how they can participate and make an impact, and hopefully get excited about pursuing careers in these fields. This experience really helped me expand my view of what I wanted to do as a career. Uh, before I wanted to just be a software engineer, but now I want to integrate that with aerospace technology. The engineers I know from community college, you don't really get to do anything besides more theory based in math and physics. So this was really cool if you want to get like real world experience and how to do the process. You're so focused on school, like grades, and strictly just tests, but they forget that we're engineers because we want to do things with our hands. So the Fab Lab was honestly the best thing that they could offer us. We get to see what exactly we'll we be using in the future. Our objective is to really transform the way talent development works for our industry partners. We want to increase the return on investment by allowing them to have a proactive talent development process where they have the ability to proactively start to groom and train the talent in the precise skills and capabilities that their company needs. And so by having industry and academia working together, we get a continuous feedback loop. And then academia continuously adapts their programs to better meet industry needs.